Gosh, what a miserable day to be filming a Valentine's Day look. It's just, there's miserable, it's miserable weather, it's raining, and it's just my kind of vibe. Also, today I'm going to be filming an anti-Valentine's Day look, so pff, this is perfect. Anyway, hi, welcome back to the Gypsy Caravan, I'm Shan, how are you doing? Like I said, today we're going to be filming an anti-Valentine's Day look, and when I think of something that's like very anti, immediately my brain goes to black, the colour black. Um... And also normally for me, just to like keep it very potent, I like to do something graphic, like a graphic liner or like um, a graphic liner. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So yes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on social media. Everything will be down here for you. Let's get into this look. Okay, so we are going to be starting with the eyes today just because... I just know this graphic liner is gonna take some time so eyes first I'm gonna be going in with my 24 hour eye base today um, because it's official my painterly is out and I need more uh, so yeah just prime your lids how you wish to have them primed or how you the product you prefer to prime your lids with uh, just get your primer down girl um, okay, and then straight away after priming your lids, grab yourself your black liquid liner, a pot liner, gel liner, whatever black eyeliner you have. Flip, you can even use black liquid lipstick if you want. Just get a black liquid substance in your hand. And we're going to start doing this graphic liner. The shape I have in mind today is kind of like um, triangular or like chevron-y something like that I'm thinking of like just pulling the eyes out and I don't know just making it runway vibes okay so if you want to do the same sort of look you can if not I do have a floating liner tutorial that I did for Valentine's Day last year you can go and do that um, but yeah for now I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull you closer this is me zooming in by the way it's literally just pulling my camera closer to me Okay, I'm going in with brush stroke black liner and I'm just going to kind of plot first where I want this liner to start and end because I kind of want it in like a, um, a straight line. So uh, in the lash line First, I'm just going to kind of create my triangle shape and where it needs to end. I am not going to take the liquid on the inside of my eye. I'm going to do pencil for that because um, obviously liquid doesn't sit in my waterline for some reason. So I'm going to have to use a pencil for that. I'm uh, just going to slowly build this line. And just gradually fill it and fill it in and make it thicker and thicker and thicker as we go. So essentially we're just trying to build kind of like a roof shape. Like the pitch of a roof. Does that make sense? Kinda like that. I'm just gonna fix it because it's um a mess. I mean that's kind of where I wanted to go, it's just like my lid is not cooperating so I'm going to have to fix that top lid, but the bottom, the bottom is correct. The only problem with hooded eyes like me is that you have to do everything with an open lid. See that just looks 10 times better. Okay, I'm going to just thicken up the bottom. Quick, and then this side is done. Perfect. Now that's exactly what I wanted. I'm obviously gonna fill in the waterline because it's looking a little wonky right now, but that's kind of what I wanted. I just wanted like an arrow on my lid. 
Okay, so here's the thing though. This is quite um, a shiny finish. Like it has a very leathery sort of finish. What is that in my hair? Like a bit of black eyeshadow because I didn't want it to be shiny. I want it to be matte. So I'm going to grab a black eyeshadow real quick. You can literally use any black eyeshadow for this. Whatever you want. I'm just taking like the first one I could find which was my next one. I'm going to take this on an angled brush and I'm literally just going to push this in over the liner to make it matte. I don't want no shiny liner. I don't want a leathery sort of finish. I want it to be matte. Because you know this day sucks the life out of some of us and um, we don't need any light. Kind of like that. Okay, I've got some fallout. So I am just going to clean that up real quick. And I'm going to do the other side and then I will be right back. Okay, so now that we have our eyes um, done and, well, somewhat symmetrical, really flip and battle, but I mean, I feel like they're kind of there. It's okay. We're going to go in with a black pencil. This is Beeline by MAC and we are going to fill in the water lines to our eyes. You can use any black pencil, just get a black in. If you can get a liquid in your water line, cute. Good for you. I can't. See how that black just fills in that gap? Yola. Cool, there we go. It's actually kind of fattened out the shape, which is fine. I mean, like, whatever. It's okay. It kind of looks like I've got fat arrows now, which is reminiscent of the arrows I make on stage. <laughs> okay, cool. So moving on now, we're going to do the inner corner arrows. We're going to do the exact same thing, just on um, the inner corners, but going like that way. That was really ticklish. So kind of just get your arrow center situation again. Why is it so dark? <sighs> this weather is irritating me. Okay, so I kind of want my arrow to end there and there. Hold up that arrow. We have to like do a little bit and then like pull back and see how far you are. Come into the mirror again, do a little bit, pull back, see how far you are. And that's what takes so long with graphic liner sometimes. Unless you're that girl on TikTok who can just like, I don't know how she does it, symmetrically as well. Like, I can't, I never, never in a million years. Cute, there we go. I'm gonna do the other side real quick and then um, we can add the eyeshadow. Okay, now that we have the um, inner corner in, why is this so dark? I mean, I know the weather's miserable, but gosh. Um, where's that brush now? Now that we have this inner corner done, I'm gonna go in with that black eyeshadow on that angled brush and we're going to just dim down the shine in this a little bit because again, I don't want this liner to be shiny. I want it to look like matte, matte as can be. Perfect. I still feel like this side's a bit wonky, but that's just because that's just my eye is wonky. Okay, now that we've got the inner corners done, cleaned up, I'm actually going to go in with mascara first. Maybe just like the top lashes for now and then we can get into skin. Um, so as always, I'm going to curl my lashes. You curl yours if you want to. I am not going to be doing falsies today because I've got this huge ass gap. Ow. Huge ass gap. Uh, in between the two liner points. So I am just going to do mascara 
for mascara today you already know it was coming my fenty this is my try and true this is the love of my life when it comes to mascara i'm going to coat the top and bottom okay i'm gonna come back and do the bottom lashes later let's get into the skin so for these types of looks, I love it when the skin looks absolutely see-through and it looks like you haven't put like any effort into your makeup at all. It's like effortless. Um, and normally for these types of looks, with it being very runway-esque or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Editorial. The skin is normally like super pulled back and like see-through and non-existent and that's just exactly what I want. So to start off with I do need to create some shadows and angles in my face. So I'm going to go in with some cream contour underneath the foundation. So that's where we're starting today. You already know I'm going to go in with my fave. This is the Cheeks Out Cream Freestyle Cream Bronzer by Fenty. I'm in the shade 01 Amber and I'm going to take that on a Real Techniques 303 contouring brush. Just get all my fabulous hair out of the way. I'm going to just pick up some of that product and we are just going to push it into the hollow of my cheek. I kind of want to look like I'm on heroin or that I'm a little bit sickly but not really. This sort of look when I was working at MAC was dubbed the um, like lived in sort of makeup look like the, the whole inspiration and like description around this kind of makeup was this girl went out clubbing the entire night, slept in her makeup and had to like get up early for work and the only thing she could do was kind of like do this underneath her eyes to like clean up all the fallout and slap on like a fresh layer of foundation and slick on some glass and go and that was her makeup look for the day and i absolutely fell in love with that sort of situation so that is the kind of mood i'm trying to create here with this look um for today with this skin look obviously for me because i am rounder than humpty dumpty before he fell off the wall i need some angles and shadows so that's what i'm doing first I did have my skincare and a primer-ish serum down before doing my face, so don't forget to do that for yourself as well, otherwise none of this is going to stay on and last you throughout the evening or the day or whatever. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a shadow here as well because I don't do the double chin situation. Absolutely not. Already starting to look a little bit gaunt, which is what I want. I'm gonna look sickly, dead. Okay, so now the thinnest consistency or texture foundation I have. Is this one by Revlon, it's the Candid Glow Foundation. Now, I don't think you can actually get this in the country, but it doesn't matter because you have your own products and you can use whatever foundation that pleases you. If you want to go full coverage, go full coverage. If you don't want to wear foundation, you don't have to wear foundation. But I'm going to go in with my thinnest, most sheerest foundation I have, and that is this one. I'm in the shade 120 buff, and I am going to be stippling this in with a 188 brush. You can use your hand, you can use a sponge, girl. Your makeup bag is your makeup bag. Do what you are comfortable. I'm going to start off with one little pump of this. Essentially the whole um, thing behind this choice of foundation is again that very like fresh face. fresh face sort of vibe. I want my skin to be glowy. I want it to look like I am hydrated, that you know I take the time to do my skincare in the morning even though I actually do, that I drink three liters of water which I do. Like I just want that really like fresh faced, jumped in the shower, had to just do a whole shower, get out and get ready for work. That kind of fresh face. 
So essentially with this being quite a thin sheer foundation it's definitely not going to cover anything it's just going to even out the skin tone slightly give it that really nice reflect in the skin that really nice glow that's kind of what I'm after again you do your face how you feel more most comfortable doing it super simple with concealer today I'm not going to cover anything there's a hair there I'm not going to brighten up anything I'm literally just using it to just boost the color up underneath my eyes so that I don't look so tired and I'm going to go in with my my eyelids concealer and I'm going to blend that in with my Rare Beauty concealer brush concealer highlighter is the exact same shade as my skin tone I feel it's also very sheer and very hydrating so it's not going to add much product but it is just going to even out the skin tone and the slight discoloration I have underneath my eye here. So I'm literally just using it in the inner corners just to kind of boost that bag a little. Because um, I didn't claim that baggage. It's not mine. And then I'm just going to pounce that in and just blend it out. While that concealer just settles, we're going to go in with the brows. I am obviously, of course, going to do super natural brows. Um, so I'm just going to literally run a brow gel through it. Again, do your brows how you want to do your brows. Totally up to you. I'm just going to spoolie through mine. And then I'm going to take my big boost. What is this actually called? The Eyebrows Big Boost Fiber Gel. By Mac I'm in the shade fling it is very very similar to the next one I always use just this one is slightly lighter in color which is why I want to use it because I kind of want my brows not to be blonde brows but I kind of want the brows to be a little bit lighter so it has that like editorial look or finish to it um, also because it's like nearly on its way out and I kind of want to finish it so I can do it back to Mac I am one product short of doing that. So I'm just going to brush my brows up and just fill them with this. The bad end of there. How do I mess up my own brows? Do I even know how to make up? literal eyebrow perfection cool i'm just going to set my under eyes with some translucent powder i'm just going in with my good old faithful which is the um what are you infallible i'm going to use a small okay i'm going to use a large blending brush but smaller than like a normal face brush to like just set the under eyes because i want this to be very hot spot specific I'm just going to push the powder in to this area here just to dim down that shine. I don't want to mattify the entire face because that's not what my, that's not what I'm about. I just want to set that concealer and mattify the area here. I also am just going to do a little bit of this across my nose because my nose gets quite oily and I don't like the look of that. So I'm only going to mattify those two three areas and then the rest of my skin is still gonna be this really nice glow okay also can't forget the bottom lashes I'm just gonna also go in with a trusted mascara this is the extended play giga black lash okay so now I feel like we need just like a touch of color Okay, so now I feel like we need just like a touch of color for the skin just to like, so we don't look completely dead, like gaunt and sickly, but not like dead. So I'm going to go in with a cream blush. This is a Glow Play blush by MAC in the shade No Shame. It's pink, I know, but I kind of wanted it to be a cool tone color. So I'm just going to use my fingers to warm up the product and apply this. For something that looks like a Nicki Minaj pink, I actually really like this for my skin tone. It's really, really pretty so I'm just gonna tap this in on the high points of the face kind of as if it were like um 
a highlighter but not really I'm just gonna use my ring finger because it's a lighter touch and also to kind of make it look like we're a little bit hung over but not really like that mmm kind of look like we had a late night but not really okay now that we have the blush on I'm just gonna set everything in place I'm gonna grab my Smashbox brush and I'm gonna use this like old duo that um, Mac did a while back for Christmas I'm gonna go in with the blush and I am just going to oops, just set the blush in place just kind of like amplify the color a little bit because I feel like it's it's a little bit light but I don't want to go like overboard with the cream I don't want to look like I got smacked in the face this one curl is annoying me just do your job I'm also just going to run this through my nose as well you know, make it look like we've had a little bit too much wine to drink. Cool, and then just taking the same brush and moving on to the highlighter side, I am just going to highlight my face. And I am of course going to hit all the high points of my skin. And also just make it look like we have that really nice overall glow. I am also just going to take a big fluffy blending brush and run a little bit of this through my brow bone as well. Kind of make my lids look a little sweaty but not by much. You know, kind of take it down onto the little little in that little gap of the eyeliner. Okay, I'm definitely feeling a gloss for this type of look. So I'm going to go in with Plenty of Pout Plumping Lip Gloss by MAC in the shade Ephemeral Nature. It's kind of like this peachy toned gloss and it has sort of like a gold reflect through it. And it's a plumping lip gloss. So it's going to make my lips look super juicy, which is what I need right now. Ugh. If you are not familiar with familiar with this plumping gloss by MAC, start out with a little bit because the very first time I tried this, um, I burnt my lips to shit because I did not realize how I did not realize how strong the tingle and minty feeling was in this lip gloss. So start out with a little bit and build because you could burn your lip. Also a really thick texture of glass as well. So a little bit does go a long way. So just be aware of those things, especially with any type of plumping lip gloss. Some of them really burn the shit out of you. Where others aren't so bad. This is a mega plumping lip gloss because it did, it burned my lips and I could not wear it for more than a minute. It just, it stung so bad. Um, although I will say that because this one was a collection item and not the stain line plumping lip gloss because there was a plenty of pout plumping lip gloss and then there's this one which was part of a collection I actually cannot remember it's the one with the pink lids I want to say the cherry blossom line I think I don't know this one doesn't sting as much so I think they improved the formula but oh my soul holy moises was that first one a real freaking stinger And then saying that I just keep applying more and more and more and more and more, so I'm just gonna stop there. Okay, so there we have it. This is the completed Valentine's Day, anti Valentine's Day look. Super simple, super impactful, very editorial, very fashion forward, runway type of makeup, and very easy to achieve if you are that kind of person who is just anti Valentine's and just wants to, like, you know, look mysterious and different. You know, like those girls from the novels. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you recreate this look for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And follow me on all social media platforms. All my details will be listed down below in the description box. I have this really long hair in my eye. Um, if you have missed any of the products that I've used today, everything will always be listed down below in the description box for you so that you can check out what I'm using. 
um, along with the brushes and etc etc. Again, thank you so much and don't forget whenever you can to refer the Gypsy Caravan. Bye! I can't always look out for